We're about to test my puppy dog's recon in a few different situations. We got Justice way back there. Justice, let's go! Good boy! Good boy, buddy, come on! Good boy! All the way in! That's a good boy. Set. Good set. Okay, go back out. Good boy. That wasn't bad. Recalling him from the very back of the yard. All right, good boy. Just a set. Good boy, buddies. Karen and I, we did, I just showed you one example of a recall, but we're gonna test our puppy dog's recall. Recall is so important in dogs. It's probably, I would say, probably the most important and keep your dog safe. Yeah, and it makes me feel more confident as a leader if I know I can recall him in any scenario. Yes, so we're gonna try to get him away from us. She's got a ball right now, right there, which he wants. Look at him, he wants that. You can toss it to him, boo. Just toss it to him? I'll toss it for him. Toss it for Actually him. Actually make him stay and then throw it, then tell him to go. Okay. Let's, we'll, we'll work on a couple drills for okay, these guys. Yeah, I was doing this earlier with him actually. Making him stay and- Justice, stay. Good stay, Justice. Good stay, Justice. Okay, buddy, go get it. Good boy. He's Where like, oh, go? there it is. <laughs> Call him, boo. Justice, let's go. Good boy. Nope. Let's go, Justice. All right, good boy. Good boy. Come to you. Justice, come here, buddy. Let's go. Now, Justice? Can, can I give you some um, tips, some critiques, some yep. some constructive criticism? Uh, on your when you called him back, yeah, it wasn't sharp and direct. It was kind of like almost like you're asking him to come. So yeah. no, you come here now. Yeah. And then you weren't as happy as you needed to be when you come. That's like my fine balance with him being yeah. direct, but so, he needs the happy voice. Let, let's, let's try, let me try. Okay, yeah. Probably easiest to look at the thing. Yeah. Got this, bro? <laughs> let's go. I'm just gonna throw it to him. Justice, go get it. Justice, let's go. Good boy, good boy, Justice, let's go. Good boy, yes, good boy, yay! And what I'm gonna do is also, he loves his ears rubbed. He like absolutely, it's like his face, it's same with Bruce. So as a reward, I'm like rubbing his ears, making them feel good to like, oh my God, I come to Jason in this area and it's just happy, good times. Um, drop, good boy. Oh, good that right boy. over here, come here, Justice, come here. Sit. Stay. So let's walk up here, boo. Good stay. Now he's, he's distracted with a ball right there. I don't care if he picks it up and runs to me, but I, I prefer him just coming straight to me. We'll see if he will or not. And guys, I apologize if the wind's a lot. Uh, it's always windy at her house, unfortunately. She has a lav mic on, I have a lav mic on, so there's not really hiding from the wind. Good stay, buddy. Now also, we have a bunch of training courses that are amazing. Um, I have them linked in the description box. Use code Jason, save 10%. There are seven days to perfect heal, uh, seven days to perfect recall. That'll help you guys a ton in your recall. He really wants that ball right now. So I don't want to set him up for failure. So uh, I'm gonna recall him right now. Justice, let's go. Let's go. Good boy. As I say, thought, come here. Good boy. Yay, yay. As I thought, he really wanted that ball. And I said, he, I'd be fine with it if he picks it up first and then comes to me. He grabbed it, then came. So that is so awesome. Now, what I want to do is, I want to put him on this day right here. I want, see the end of the fence right there? Yeah. I want to walk around there and see if he'll recall without seeing us. Look at me, come here. Justice, let's go. Good boy, sit. Good boy, stay. So, we're gonna zip around that corner right now. Good, stay. And um, see if he'll come. He's probably gonna try to grab that ball first. Justice, let's go! Let's go, buddy! Oh, good boy! <laughs> oh, good shit. boy! I was looking through the camera and didn't see him coming. Go get your ball! That was go so get quick! Your ball. I don't know if he knows what that means. Go get your ball! Go get it! True, Bruce does. He may not go know yet. It's right here! Good, that good was boy. really good. Good boy. Good boy, come here, Justice. Oh. 
Any other nice. recall things we could do? Uh, let me do it with him one more time, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, let's do it with that. Just because I got critiqued. How do you want to do it? Like, um, do you, you want to do a simple one? Yeah, let's do a simple one. Let me bring him down there with yeah. me. Yeah. You call him, because remember, we got lav mics on. Yeah. So he'll be next to me and see if he'll leave my side. Ah, that's a I'm not challenging put, one. I won't put him on the stay. Okay. But see if I can get him to yeah. leave you. Justice, let's go. I'm going to take this ball, though, Dad. Good boy. <laughs> Beautiful day, guys. Justice, out of there, come on, let's go. Come here, right here. Sit. Sit. Good boy. I'm gonna pick up his ball, boo. And you gotta be loud, because it's hard to hear down here. Okay. He's not on a command, is he? He's not. Justice, what let's go, buddy. Let's go. He's gonna pick up his ball. Loud and sharp. Justice, let's go! Good boy! Good boy! Come here, good boy, Justice. Justice, sit. Good, sit. Justice, lay down. Now, can I try from here? Good boy! Can I try from here, Boo? Yeah. Justice, let's go! Good boy! Good boy! Yay! Justice, drop. Good boy. Let's go see mom, okay? Justice, let's go! Let's go, Justice! Well, his ball's coming this way. Oh, good he boy! He still came to you. Good boy, come here. Come here. Now, there's a couple, a couple things here. Yeah. He's more responsive than me. Of because course. I'm working with him every single day. Literally all the time. The amount of time you spend with these dogs compared to is me. Is more than double. It's, yeah. So there's always like a main, like, yeah. there's pack hierarchy in, in every house. Yeah. I'm the absolute leader, um, then Kara, then Bruce and Justice. And, yeah. and all the people who watch this and be like, oh, Jason's being a jerk because <laughs> they're, anytime I say that, do you know how many people like say, oh, you're trashing women and all that stuff? Because you're can the you, leader? Can, can you, yeah. You're the alpha? Uh, I'm the leader of the dogs. There has to be, no, that's how pack not, hierarchy works. That's not being a jerk. It's either me or her. And yeah. I'm with the dogs more, so it's, yeah. it just naturally is me. Yes. He's trying to eat a grasshopper right now. He just got stung by a bee last night. Yeah, can we this not whole, try to bro, eat insects let's right not now? do that. What He's, are you doing? He is tired. Are you so tired? Hi. So he's gonna Justice be responsive set. to me more because he understands my voice more. Justice set. So Good that's boy. another thing. He understands my voice. Correct. So when I called him and you called him, yeah. my voice, I can project my voice louder mm -hmm. and he understands it more. So what I would suggest, babe, yeah. is just try to deepen your voice a little bit and project <laughs> it a little bit more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'll divorce me if I talk like that too much. <laughs> so a lot of it isn't him not responding yeah. because it's you. Yeah, it's the tone. It's the him not understanding what you're asking from sure. him. Sure, yeah. Which is why I always, we always tell people when you train your dogs, try to mimic the main, the head trainer. Yeah. Like I'm the, I'm the one that. You're the lead. Tri taught him things first and then you follow the lead. Right. So it's just easiest to try to mimic, especially a puppy. Yeah. Bruce, we can talk full sentences to you. Like, come on, bro. And, he and you'd understands. be like, oh, Bruce, I love you. Let's go. So completely different tones. He understands us. I know it. He's only nine months old. He doesn't get it yet. And Br right. Bruce, it was years before he got it. It was, that but full. it's so easy to forget that. It is. It's easy to look at JJ and things and to think he should understand things the way Bruce does. You know? Which isn't fair to him. No, not at all. And it's always really hard for me to remember that. Good I don't like comparing him. Bruce, it, it honestly angers me. Uh, he's a different dog. I love him in a different way. Yeah. Even from the like the way they can handle the outdoors is different. Right, like Bruce wouldn't be this panty right now. He would. And it's not a hot day. It's, it's nice not. and breezy and kind of cool. Actually. Yeah. So. Oh, he needs. I think he needs water. I think he's done outside. Let's get in the shade really quick. We are in the shade, are we? No. Oh, no Justice, right. get your ball. Good boy. Under the tree. Come on, under the tree, buddy. Oh, good boy. He is like such a happy dog all He's the time. the happiest boy ever. So when you're working on recall, you want to do a few things. You want to make it as easy as possible for your puppy to understand. So as Kara was just saying to me off camera, it's really important to start with like short distances, right? Yeah, set them up for success. Set them up for success as much as you can. Short distances, you know, 10 feet is fine. Be extreme.
extremely, right? Like, as amped up as I was, amped that up even more. Yeah. Like, when he was, like, a baby baby, it was, like, level 10 excitement if he would come to me. Because everything in arm's reach, I want to be a happy, friendly place for him. That way, he actually wants to come at me. Do you ever see the dogs, or have you ever been the person? And no shame, we've all made dog training mistakes. You're just getting so angry because your dog won't come. Yeah. What happens? Your blood starts boiling. You start screaming. Like, perfect example: daycare with Bruce, puppy, puppy daycare. Yeah. First introducing him. Remember the the woman with um, Josie, the German oh, Shepherd. Oh yes, yes, yes. She was screaming bloody murder. Puppy. Josie, get over here now! Her face was red. Yeah. She was angry. Why would your dog want to come to you? Yeah. Remember when your dad was yelling at you when you were a kid? Like, I don't want to come to him. He's going to beat me. Yeah, they like, play off that energy. Don't have that type of energy with your dog. Make it happy. As, as frustrated as you may be, make it happy if they come to you. Mm -hmm. Another tip is if they don't come, what should they do? Like, let's say you're calling him two times and he's not coming. What would you What would you suggest? We're going to quiz Kara right now. <laughs> well, I wouldn't keep calling him. There you go. Give up. Because, don't stop yeah. because now... Your, your let's go or your come or whatever your recall command is. It means nothing. It means nothing and you're teaching them that that means nothing and there's no consequences for them not coming to you. So just give up and try again later. Yeah. And maybe assess. Like for me, was it my tone of voice? Was I asking him a question versus telling him what to do? Like. Yep. Was there just too many distractions for them yeah. Yeah. at that age? Because he is a puppy. He's still a puppy. He's, yeah. There's still a lot. You can see how happy he is just to, to hold that ball. There's a lot going on. Yeah. So you have to remember that too, is like, yeah. you can't expect more from your puppy. Like I expect a lot from Bruce. He's fully trained, he's an adult. Yeah. My expectation is only so high for this guy and he's actually blowing my expectations away. Seriously, is he's so good. Now, can he use food? Of course you guys can use yes. food. If your dog is food motivated. Food driven. Food driven. Bruce you, was not. He was not. Use <laughs> food to your advantage. Use whatever your dog's personality is to their advantage. If your dog wants to take a nap and that's, you know, <laughs> what pleases them, recall him with a nap somehow. No, but in all seriousness, use food. Yeah. If they're going to recall with food. Yeah. I did with him. Yep. But yep. you also have to understand food's not always going to be available to you. And you don't want that to be the end all be all. You right. want to be able to train your dog without food eventually. Start with food, but you know, there's no shame in that. But if you can, start working away from that. And also, there's different reward values to food. Treat A yes. isn't the same reward as treat B. True. So on a recall, something that I feel is just extremely important because they can save your dog's life. Your dog's running to the road, yes. distractions around. If I call Bruce, he's going to turn around, he's going to stop in his tracks and come. He goes after something he shouldn't. I say, Bruce, let's go. He's going to come back. Um, so you want to train your dog with a very high reward food. So give them a treat you normally don't give them that they just absolutely love. That's right. another extremely awesome tip to get them to want to come to you. That's huge, yeah. So like a piece of, say you're feeding your dog kibble, if I can use that example, Yep. and then you use kibble as the reward, that's not going to be a high value reward likely. Com compared to like so, a peanut butter cookie, like dog right, treat, you know? or like a beef jerky chew or something like yep. that, you know? Yep. like that you brought up the whole safety thing about them going into the, the road. Like that just really yep. drives home the importance of being able to recall your dog. I think it, you already spoke about making sure like you don't have a ton of distractions at first, but you do eventually, once you get the hang of that, you want to move into an area where there are distractions. There are other dogs around. Dogs are high reward. I think to like Bruce and Justice, they have been because they like want to go mingle. Yeah. So having them around other dogs and and being able to recall them yep. is so, huge. So if you can get your dog, once you once you have the basic recall down, like he's got the basic re yeah. recall down. Yeah. Um, and I can use Bruce to work with him on recall, which yes. I do when they're playing, yeah. which is difficult. Yeah. It's difficult. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. They'll do it, but it's yeah. difficult. Um, and you actually said something earlier about safety. Yeah. So we have a fenced in yard. So I, both of us feel completely comfortable having Justice and Bruce outside the fence because they're I very even, responsive. I even take the two of them outside the fence by myself. Yes, without I me. I do ensure that there isn't anyone doing yard work over here or over there. There isn't like a farmer in the back. Because he's still a puppy. Because he is still a puppy. Jason probably would, I myself yep. won't. So I always double check my surroundings first but they have shown to have really good recall with me. And sometimes when Jason's not around, they're 
recall with me is a bit stronger because it omits it omits me looking at him as the leader so they know they know they do look at me as a leader but they know we listen to what this woman says yes and you do awesome start your recall in a safe area safe. start your recall in, in the home yeah right inside, inside home yeah, it doesn't have to be outside because they're extremely familiar yeah so if your dog is if your puppy or dog whatever age you're trying to teach your dog start your recall in a very familiar surrounding area yeah because there's not going to be any distractions they've seen the kitchen table a thousand times they've seen right. the couch a yeah. thousand Call times them into the other room see how yes it goes. so start there start small everything <laughs> He's like, wait a second, that just made a noise. It squeaks, I didn't know it squeaks. The quickest way to successful recall is having the least amount of failures so you take baby steps. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna yeah. recall him from here. Justice, let's go! Good boy, buddy! <laughs> Good boy. And then I would do it farther away. Yep. And then once he has that recall 100 all the time, I'm gonna bring him outside and do it at right. a farther distance. Right. Again, you know, just then baby you move steps. To do the stuff like you did, like around the fence where you can't even see him. Like, yep. don't do that straight out the gate. I was surprised how quick that one was. Same. Well, I think that is everything, guys. Yeah. Thank you for uh, following along. Kara, can you believe we're almost at 300,000 subscribers? This is wild. I right? love that. I'm so psyched about it's it. It's insane. Our little, our little. Corey Crew family of Corsos. Oh wait, that reminds me. Jeff Beamish did tell me someone was getting a dog. Oh, and really? he's like, you gotta check out my buddy. And he's like, oh yeah, I follow, like I watch all his videos. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I forgot. That's funny. Um, so again, thank you guys for uh, subscribing. You know, we have, there's gonna be so much more. <laughs> it's been fun being able to share justice with you guys. What's he putting in my mouth? He, he's trying to put the ball in my mouth. Make sure you subscribe if you want us to get a third Kane Corso. <laughs> yeah, we can't afford that. Please. <laughs> Someday I would like three. <laughs> Let me just answer this now. Am I worried about them um, fighting because I have two unneutered males? I'm not stupid. Brothers fight. There's probably going to be a fight someday, but I am setting them up for success mm -hmm. and I'm working them with them all the time. So is she working on like making sure there's no food aggression. You know, I, I did a video where they're eating off the same plate. Yeah. And everyone's like, don't feed them off the same plate. You need to give them se separate plates, bro. It's like, yeah, no crap. You saw six seconds of a video. We feed them on separate plates. Right. But also they have to understand that they can share food and there's, there's not like a competition for it. Correct. So, I'm going to keep working on them on every aspect to try to mitigate any problems before they happen. Right. I'm a, I'm a chess player. I don't, I don't play checkers. So I'm not, checkers. I'm not reactive to a situation. I'd rather be proactive in <laughs> justice. Let's go. He just walked around the fence on his own. And Good he was boy. Like, he was, but he was totally looking back at us. Good like, boy. I'm going to see if I can get around this fence without my mom and dad saying cute <laughs> to me. So just with like all of our dog training, I try to think of issues that could arise in the future. And I start training to avoid those issues. Yeah. You know, it's, it's be proactive. Be proactive. Stuff. Just think ahead. We so make sure you guys subscribe on the way out. Again, tons of amazing training courses that are literally life changing that will change the way you think of dog training, change the relationship with your dog for the better. Like I, would you ever think we'd have a relationship with our dogs like this? No, this is wild. It's like, I never thought I'd be this confident as a dog mom. They don't even feel like dogs. Like the level of Kara's dog training has went from essentially zero to like, He's not being mean. It's true. To a professional dog trainer, essentially. Yeah. Um, you know, Thanks, babe. I could not be, I could like, be gone from earth buried six feet under she could get a puppy corso and it would be trained just as well as bruce um Aww. so you came a long way it. you came a long way because of you i appreciate it yeah. so check out those courses guys it does support me my wife and the boys and they're possibly a third course though and they're extremely <laughs> expensive to feed so anything you can do to support the merch the ebook the courses until next time let me know down below what you guys want to see let me know what issues you have with your dogs maybe we could tackle those yeah you know ring his dingaling ring the dingaling <laughs> see she's giving you permission to ring my dingaling ladies that's a, that's a good woman all right guys <laughs> peace waiting in his face in his face <laughs> we're gonna go take justice on a hike now all right justice let's go one more time for the camera oh, good boy good, good boy. boy all right guys peace